This video demonstrates proper handling, installation and removal procedures for the boxed Intel processor in the 775 LAN package. While performing any of these procedures, standard ESD practices must be followed. Processor installation can be performed while the motherboard is already installed in the system or with the motherboard removed. Be sure to follow ESD practices in either case. Gloves are recommended. Place the board on a flat ESD safe surface, orienting it so that the socket load lever is to the left of the operator. Disengage the load lever by pinching it with your finger and thumb and pressing downward and out on the hook to clear the retention tab. Rotate the load lever fully to the open position of approximately 135 degrees. Rotate the load plate to the fully open position of about 100 degrees. Pressing with your forefinger on the north side of the cap, remove the pick and place cap or PNP cap. Do not touch the socket contacts while doing this. Inspect the cap for any signs of damage. Now you will visually inspect the socket contact array on the motherboard by viewing at various angles, noting any changes in light patterns. Such a change indicates damaged contacts. Also check for foreign matter. Should either mechanical damage or foreign matter be discovered, reject the motherboard. To install the processor, remove the processor from the box processor package by grasping the substrate corners with three fingers and lift straight up. Notice that pin 1 is marked by a gold arrow. Remove the LAN side cover with the opposite hand by depressing the larger retention tab and then peeling it away from the processor package. If the processor is later removed from the socket, be sure to replace the LAN side cover to protect sensitive gold pads. Visually inspect the processor gold pads for the presence of foreign material or damage and reject the processor if any is found. To insert the processor onto the motherboard, orient the package so that the integrated heat spreader is facing up. Pin 1 and the locating key notches on the substrate must be oriented properly. A yellow triangle indicates the location of pin 1. Carefully lower the processor into the socket, taking care to align pin 1 on the processor with the socket. Holding the processor with two fingers, lower it with a vertical motion. Keep it flat and level as it aligns into the socket to avoid pin damage. With the package seated, rotate the load plate onto the package integrated heat spreader. Engage the load lever to secure the load plate tab while pressing down lightly on the load plate. Secure the load lever under the retention tab. Remove the variable speed fan heatsink from the box processor packaging, being careful not to damage the pre-applied thermal interface material. Do not apply any additional thermal interface material. With the motherboard installed in the chassis, place the fan heatsink onto the motherboard in any orientation, aligning the fasteners through the motherboard holes. Before actuating the fastener caps, ensure that the power cables are not trapped or otherwise infringing on fastener operation. Also make sure that the fastener slots are pointing straight out from the heatsink. To activate the four caps, press down on them with your fingertip while applying downward pressure on the heatsink to prevent it from tilting. You do not need to rotate the fasteners during installation. Check that both the fastener caps and the base are flush with the motherboard. Now, connect the 4-pin fan header with the motherboard header, noting proper key orientation. Finally, ensure that any excess cabling does not interfere with fan operation. Begin disassembly by disconnecting the fan cable from the motherboard. Turn the four fastener caps counterclockwise 90 degrees with a flat blade screwdriver. This unlocks the caps. Pull up on the fastener caps to unseat them.
With the straight up vertical and twisting motion, remove the heatsink. If the fan heatsink will be used on another processor, you will need to reset the fasteners by rotating the caps 90 degrees in the direction opposite of the arrow on top of the cap. If needed, you may contact Intel customer support to obtain a replacement thermal interface pad. Now, open the socket load plate and lever. Pick up the processor either using a vacuum wand or with your hands. Using your hand, place your index finger on the load plate hinge side of the processor and your thumb on the load lever side. Lift straight up and away. No matter which method is used to remove the processor from the motherboard, the LAN side cover must be assembled on the processor immediately to prevent contamination. To do so, regrip the CPU by holding it at the corners. Be certain not to touch the gold pads. Engage one large retention tab on the CPU at an angle, then press the second large retention tab, securing it to the CPU. To reassemble the PNP on the load plate, place it on the back side of the plate. Snap down on the tab to fully seat the cap. Then close the load plate and secure the load lever under its tab.